Khalil Kane was telling me about a situation during the, the, the filming where I guess like Pac was having like some, some local kids just kind of hang out with them in the trailer and just was kind of showing them love and giving them food or whatever. Right. And I guess uh, one of the kids ended up stealing from them. Mm -hmm. You can't help everybody. You can't mentor everybody. Everybody's not your brother. You know what I mean? But Pac felt that way. He was like, you know, if, if I have $5, I'm giving away $2. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, grabbing this, this young dude and, and putting him up on game. I'm, I'm going to hug this cat that I see on the corner and see what's up with him. Like, he was really kind of about it. Um, I grew up in New York City, you know. I knew what Uptown was about. And, and I wasn't showing love that way at that point. And yeah, he invited the wrong kid into the trailer to hang out, and the kid stole some jewelry and got his ass beat. He got stomped out, you know, those are the rules. You know, but at the time, I, I, you know, I wasn't working. I had already been shot and killed off, but I took this chick up to the set, you know, just to kind of show her what was going on. And, and yeah, when we got up to the top of the hill, they were stomping this kid out. And uh, she, she thought, they were filming the movie. I was like, yo, come here. You know, I had to take her off to the side. You know about that? I knew about the incident, but it was more so hearsay from my point, because I believe I was either on the set or, you know, watching Ernest, because I always try to watch. You know, that's how I learned the, the, most of the stuff I learned was from watching. But um, I had heard about the incident, and I wasn't sure if it was the kids that he had around him or was it some other kids from the neighborhood that yeah. might have just took advantage of the situation yeah, I heard that, that the those kids yeah. was in. Far as the get the kid getting beat up real bad, I didn't I didn't witness that either. You know, uh and you know, I don't I, I can't sit here and say, well, yeah, Pac did this or Pac did that. I, I don't I don't know what happened. I know some jury guys took it. Yeah. Pac was highly upset and, you know, Certain actions was taken. I wasn't in the witnesses, so I don't know what happened. Okay. But I guess there was a shooting that happened. I guess uh, like the, the film crew got shot at because of something Tupac did. See, that, that, that's again... Um, hearsay? I'm not going to say hearsay. It's kind of like it's, it's mixed. It's because it's, it's somewhat assumptions in it. You got to realize we uptown in Harlem. You know, they... It's gunfire out there all the time. Uh, another thing, this the film crew has now stopped all of your money that you're making. Why? Because we got the street blocked off. We got a bunch of police, a mm. bunch of securities, and a bunch of cameras. Everything that will shut your street business down. Mm. So we don't know if that came from okay, let's run these motherfuckers out of here and just start busting off guns, or did it come from the fuck New York shit? Because I do recall Pop having some words with somebody, and it might have been about the jury. I'm not too sure, but the fuck New York came out. Oh, he said fuck New York. Yeah, loud and clear. Huh. You know, loud and clear. Even and though he used to be called MC New York. <laughs> he, I guess at that point he was frustrated with the things that was happening like oh y'all ain't got no love for me fuck New York then you know that type of attitude and if I'm not mistaken between that us being there shutting shit down gunshots uh, far as them shooting at the set from my recollection gunshots went off but nobody was hit nothing was you know it was okay. It was no fragments. It wasn't, you know, I, I don't recall Got it. that part. I know it was some gunshots. And I was, I was, if I'm not mistaken, they were on the roof. And they, they were shooting on the roof or shot up in the air or something like that. But nobody got hit or anything like that. But, you know, it's almost like being in the jungle and the lion reminds you, you're in my territory. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that was a reminder that, okay, we're visitors here. Yeah. Let's not get it fucked up because we out here with these cameras and you know uh, we got a few police and shit like that. These are these these, these are these motherfuckers' neighborhood. They, they run this shit. We visiting. I'm sure we asked never one of them motherfuckers for permission. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? We got permits. They ain't got no permits. You know what I'm saying? What we yeah. going to ask them for? So, you know.